Well, the big question, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, first of all, our question, what it states is, how do the rules of exponents allow us to multiply and divide monomials? So I'm going to write up a rule up here, and this is our, um, this is our rule for dividing. So what this allows us to do is to divide monomials, right? And I already explained what a monomial is. So what it states is when we have a monomial divided by another monomial, when they have their exponents, what do we do with the exponents? What we're going to do is we're going to subtract the exponents. Okay, now there's something very important for you to understand. This only works when the base is the same. All right, so let me give you an example so we can see an example of this. Um, what if I had 3 cubed divided by 3 squared? Okay, those are both two monomials. So if I had 3, actually, uh, yeah, let's just do the same example. Why not? So a couple things we need to remember. One, remember 3 squared equals 3 times 3, and 3 cubed equals 3 times 3 times 3. Right? Everybody follows me there, right? Lazy? Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, the next thing i got to remind you of. What about last thing? 3 divided by 3 equals what? 1, right? Okay, good. So let's rewrite this out as 3 times 3 times 3 over 3 squared is 3 times 3. Does everybody follow me? Okay. Well, <clears throat> 3 divided by 3, we can say kind of cancels out the 1, right? So really, that can be the same thing as 1, and that's the same thing as 1. So therefore, I'm just left with 3. Now, if I wanted to attach an exponent to this, how many times am I multiplying 3 by itself? How many times? How many times am I multiplying 3 by itself? Just 1, right? So if I wanted to put an exponent up there, I could say 3 to the first power. Now, does this follow the rules of subtracting the exponents? Well, by following the rules of, rather than doing it like this, if I follow the rules of exponents, I could take 3, divided by 3 squared is going to be 3 minus 2, which equals 3 to the first power. So do you guys first of all see how easy it is to follow the rules, but then also see why it works? Okay, so you're canceling out when you're dealing with the exponents. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be your rule for when you divide monomials with exponents, that you're simply just going to, when you divide, you're going to subtract the exponents. Make sense? Just make sure the bases are the same. Okay? So 